Anytime I talk about protein powders, which is fairly often because I love protein powder, I use it in recipes and smoothies and whatnot, I eat it I, almost every day. I get told how bad they are for you, how dangerous they are, and it's true that if you Google protein powders, bad for you, protein powders, dangerous, whatever, you'll find a fair number of articles claiming that, yeah, they're toxic, they have the potential to cause serious, irreversible damage to our bodies, possibly even cancer. That last one is from Harvard Health, which is usually a good source for nutrition information, health information, so maybe there's something to this. Spoilers. No. To start, where does this all come from? Why are there so many articles talking about protein powders and heavy metals? Well, if you read through these, you will almost certainly see mention of the Clean Label Project. The Clean Label Project is a nonprofit whose goal is to bring truth and transparency, as they say, to food and consumer labeling. They're concerned mostly about what's not on the label. They're concerned about contaminants like BPA and heavy metals and pesticides. So in 2000, 2018, they released a white paper, this is not a peer-reviewed study, just to be clear, where they tested more than 130 top-selling protein powders, and they looked for arsenic, cadmium, lead, mercury, as well as BPA. And a majority of the products, according to the Clean Label Project, contained detectable levels of heavy metals. So when this came out, I was immediately skeptical. Again, I'm, I'm biased <laughs> being a consumer of protein powders, but just looking at this and their wording, talking about detectable levels. So, so what if you can detect it? Did you know that bananas are slightly radioactive because of the amount of potassium they contain? Like it's an amount that is measurable, that is detectable. Does that mean that bananas are dangerous? Did you know that strawberries and spinach contain detectable amounts of various heavy metals? Does that mean we shouldn't consume strawberries and spinach? While there may be detectable levels of heavy metals and other contaminants in a product, many of the low levels reported by the Clean Label Project do not present a scientific health risk to consumers. There is no peer-reviewed scientific evidence to support the Clean Label Project's implied claim that detectable levels of heavy metals present a health risk. Sounds great. Now, just to be clear, NSF International is one of the major companies here in the U.S. that tests and certifies supplements like protein powders. I would not at all be surprised if multiple products that they have approved in the past ended up on this dangerous heavy metal protein powders, you know, paper from the Clean Label Project. So obviously NSF is going to be incentivized to call into question something like this. Vega says something similar. Again, no, no surprise there. <laughs> Luckily, we now have something with a, a little less vested interest, a little less conflict of interest, right? This study was published in 2020, and the goal is, I think, what we want to know. They want to figure out if the amount of heavy metals found in these products actually poses a health risk to humans. And they relied on data not only from the Clean Label Project, but also from consumer reports. Consumption of protein powder supplements containing arsenic, cadmium, lead, and mercury is not associated with an increased risk of non-carcinogenic health effects due to heavy metal exposure, nor is it associated with an increased risk for carcinogenic effects. I love this section in particular where they compare exposure from these protein powders to exposure from an average diet. So for example, the mean concentration for arsenic in three servings, three servings of protein powder was 5.9 milligrams, whereas the average diet provides 9.9 milligrams per day. Even the highest, the product with the most arsenic had 16.9, micrograms, and again, that's three servings, which is still significantly lower than an individual ingesting a seafood-rich meal once per day. How much you want to bet the people complaining about protein powder contamination regularly consume seafood? Estimated daily intake of lead in the U.S. is 83 micrograms per day. The highest exposure for three servings, again, three servings of protein powder, was 13.5. None of the estimated blood lead levels from any protein powder product under any exposure scenario assessed exceeded the CDC guidance value of five micrograms. Mean concentration of mercury was only 0.27 micrograms. Again, if you're really concerned about mercury. Ingestion of protein powder supplements contributes to only a fraction of the heavy metal body burdens for each heavy metal. Further, even in individuals that ingest three servings of protein powder supplements per day, daily heavy metal concentrations ingested are well below the reported average daily heavy metal concentrations ingested 
by the general population. It's also important to note that the researchers didn't have access to the actual products and to the brands that Clean Label Project was analyzing, nor do they have access to the serving sizes. So they assumed a size of 43 grams. Now, in my experience, most products are less than that. The serving size is usually around like 36 grams, which means the exposure would be even less. The risk would be even less. So yeah, the Clean Label Project and to some extent Consumer Reports fucking blows. Like you don't do this. You don't fear monger about contaminants, especially when labeling like really is an issue. Supplements not being regulated or being very lightly regulated is really an issue. There are products that don't contain what they say or they contain other things that aren't on the label. That is really a concern. The one protein powder they looked at that had like what was it, 80 micrograms of BPA, that might actually be concerning. Although it's still significantly less than the EFSA's tolerable daily intake, so probably not. In addition, it hurts animals. They constantly harp on the worseness of the plant-based protein powders, how they perform worse and have more dangerous heavy metals. In this little infographic, they recommend getting egg-based. I would hate to think people switch to animal-based or switch back to animal-based when this report came out. Oh yeah, and they did the same shit like right before the protein powder thing, but they did it with baby food, claiming 80% of the products they tested contained arsenic, and then ultimately admitting to Snopes that the median concentration was well below the limit for drinking water. For every single substance, the average concentration was either below the level of detection or below federal safety limits. So am I concerned about protein powders? No, it makes sense that there would be more of heavy metals in the plant-based protein powders than the animal-based ones. Again, the question is dose. How much is in there? Is it actually harmful? I'm gonna keep consuming my protein powders. But if you are still concerned, hey, that's fine. You don't need it. I mean, that's, that's the best part, right? You don't need protein powders. So if you are still worried, then, you know, get your protein from Whole Foods. That's totally fine. But also remember that just because something is processed doesn't mean that it's worse, doesn't mean that it's less healthy. There are plenty of Whole Foods out there, again, fish, <laughs> that have way higher levels of heavy metals. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Several of you wanted me to talk more about protein powder and heavy metals, so here it is. Yeah, if you liked it, leave a like. If you want to subscribe, that's awesome. If you want to hit the bell to be notified when I upload, that's awesome too. You can support the channel, patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan. Thank you to all my patrons there. I do post a couple exclusive videos there a month for $5 plus patrons. I have shirts, I have an Amazon store page, and I think that's it. Thank you so much again. New video soon.